All right, folks, let's start with, um, well, I guess we should just warn people. Um, we're about to get non-family friendly or not safe for work. It is the Scaramucci sound. Ryan Lizza from the New Yorker magazine came out with the interview with um, Scaramucci that ended the Mooch's tenure. And why do I call him the Mooch? Because apparently he referred to himself in that way, too. <laughs> um <laughs> Respecting was, his wishes. Um, here is the moment on the phone call with Ryan Lizza where he calls Ryan a paranoid schizophrenic. And, well, oh. let's listen to the audio and then we'll talk about um, uh, what I think was going on here. So beautiful. And Ryan is a fucking paranoid <laughs> schizophrenic, paranoiac. And what he's going to do is, oh, maybe Bill Shine's coming or something. Let me leak the fucking thing and see if I can cock block these people the way I cock block Scaramucci for six months. Okay, but, but he leaked the CFIA stuff on me. Uh, you know, my financial disclosure has been leaked to Politico. Yes. Yeah, which is a which, yeah, which is a felony. Yeah, it's it turned out it wasn't a felony. It was actually a public disclosure. Uh, it just Politico reported on it, and. I wonder, you know, there's been a lot of rumors that Scaramucci is having uh, an affair with different people. I wonder if the whole Bill Shine thing, that's what got him uh, like uptight about what was going on. Because he seems, to be, he seems to be pretty uptight about that dinner, right? I asked for a fucking honeymoon period. That's why. Well, you think because here, you were on Sex in the City, you know about fucking financial disclosures? Get the fuck out of here. He's talking He's talking to uh, Ryan Lizza and does not realize that he's talking to Ryan Lizza now in a formal capacity in representing, um, representing the administration. And I don't know what was going through this guy's mind. Here he is calling, uh, saying that unlike Bannon... He's not interested in self-promotion, which um, he has an interesting euphemism for. But I wanted to ask you if you wanted to be profiled. I don't. I don't want to be profiled. Well, just I'm what not you're Steve trying Bannon. to do. What you're trying to do. I'm not. I'm not Steve Bannon. No. I'm not trying to suck my own cock. I'm not <laughs> trying to build my own brand off the fucking strength of the president. Yeah, but don't I'm you here to serve the country. Good, don't. Don't you? There it's you just go. So awesome. <laughs> Uh, he's really trying to win over Ryan Lizza uh, because, you know, Ryan Lizza famously likes people who don't try and uh, suck their own uh, themselves off. That's and, Ryan, uh, Liz Ryan, Ryan, Ryan Lizza Sam. is actually known as the New Yorker reporter who does not appreciate auto fellatio. <laughs> Ryan, I've done some background on you, and I understand that you don't appreciate it when people can actually uh, rub themselves out with their mouth. Yeah, uh, you know, Ryan, as far as I'm concerned, I've heard from several reliable fucking sources, and uh, not to bring that show into this, if you know what I'm saying, in a certain sense. But you don't like people who make, say, the fucking, I don't know, life project that are trying to suck their own cock. Am I right? <laughs> Bannon does. I don't. Who said uh, that I was trying to screw Kimberly Guilfoyle? That's a total lie. Although I would do her, her 50,000 times over before I looked at Sarah Huckabee, if you know what I'm fucking saying. <laughs> We're off the record in spirit, right? Well, he doesn't, you know, when he was talking, or, uh, 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 you know, on this, I heard... Uh, um, where he's saying, you know, this is a felony. He's clearly wanting to use Lizza as a way of scaring Priebus, but he, th I, he just didn't know what he was doing. He was just not a professional. He had no experience. And when you get put into that situation, the mistakes that you would have made 30 years earlier in your career, 15 years later, earlier in your career, 10 years earlier in your career, on that local state senate race that you were working on as a comms director, uh, you you know the stakes are a lot less. But in this instance, they were a lot higher, I guess. I was under the impression that he gave a lot of interviews as a Wall Street guy, and he would do similar things like this, say outrageous things, and expect them not to use it. Well, and the thing is, is that I don't think they used a lot because who cares? Right. right. Or it didn't blow up. It didn't hurt him at all. It made him interesting. 
you know, to read a piece about the hedge fund guy who says like, you know, I'm not rubbing myself out of, you know, I'm not a paranoid. Right. Then it's like, oh, he's he's a colorful character. Not, oh, he's the guy representing the president of the United States and trying to get the White House under control. That was the problem he had. Hey, look, he just didn't realize. I'm not Tom Daschle. <laughs> I'm not trying to suck my own cock over here. <laughs> this is a major catastrophe for the American country. <laughs> This is a pretty big deal. This is a big deal for the American country, okay? I'm not Hillary. I'm not going, all right, I'm going to cock block Obama because I'm a paranoiac. That's what she fucking is. Hi, folks. Sam Cedar here. We still need your help on our Patreon page. YouTube ads have come back, but not nearly as much as we had before. So if you can help us out, any little bit helps. Head over to our Patreon page right at this URL, and you'll help us keep helping you by making videos.